Well, when I was younger, my dad, he noticed I was like a fast crawler. I would be in one spot of the room and then be in the next spot like super fast. So they had a feeling I was gonna be fast and I've been running ever since. University of Oregon junior Hannah Cunliffe was born to run. But it takes more than natural talent to be a star at Tracktown USA. Hannah is dedicated, hardworking, intense, and um, inspiring. She's one of the um, types that has an unbelievable ability to focus. That's probably her strongest uh, gift is her determination and, and drive. Along with Hannah's talent and commitment, she's always had lofty aspirations. I think I was 10. I told my dad, I said, hey, you know, I'd love to go to college, win a couple national titles, and go to the Olympics. For most of the 2016 track season, Hannah was on her way toward reaching that lifelong goal, earning the title of the conference's top female track athlete of the year. And your champion, Hannah Cunliffe. <laughs> Heading into the NCAA championships in Eugene, Cunliffe was the odds-on favorite to win a national title and springboard herself into the Olympic trials. She is the Pac-12 champion at the 100 and the 200 meters and has the fifth fastest time in the world. Amazing. I was trying to stay focused and, you know, do the best I could to keep my composure, but I kind of knew before the race it wasn't going to go as planned. Good start for Anna Cunliffe, but now she's being surpassed by Gray. Cunliffe oh. pulling up. She was not herself, I didn't think, right from the blocks. Look at her face. Look at her face. Something was wrong right away. A hamstring injury had ended Cunliffe's 2016 season. And with it, her hopes of representing her country in Rio. Oftentimes, these kids, that's their whole, whole goal um, in life, is to be an Olympian. It's tough. She would have definitely had an opportunity to uh, make that team. But the determination that had brought Hannah success was also what allowed her to push through a heartbreaking setback. She worked every single day. <laughs> a hard couple months to get through, but I got through it. <laughs> and there is Hannah Cunliffe, who looked very easy in the preliminary. She is doing it all this year. Javion Oliver next to her, joining her, running very, very well, and Cunliffe just out leans Oliver at the tape. And she is so happy because this is her first ever individual NCAA title. Um, it, I mean, it was a great feeling. I just wanted to cry. Um, I was just so excited, and... <laughs> It's something I've wanted for a really long time and I finally got it. It was one of the best feelings I've ever felt. Like, I'll never forget it. She deserved everything that she got indoor and everything that she's gonna have outdoor because of how hard she worked to get back from her injury. With her first individual title already in hand, Hannah's dreams of NCAA dominance and an Olympic appearance are back on track. I think it taught me like no matter how discouraged or you know, down you are just to keep pushing and you'll get rewarded. You know, as straightforward as it can be. 